I think there's been a little crime there, and I think they all should pay for what they've did. Do you think they can get a fair trial? I would hope to think so. In America, we can still have a fair trial of some kind for them. Do you think the pardon of Mr. Nixon will have an effect on their trial? I think it did have an effect on their trial. I think it's had an effect on the country. Ma'am, do you think the other Watergate defendants should be pardoned? Uh, no, not really. I feel like there should be equal justice, and I don't feel like I was against Nixon's pardon. I think that at least they should go through the court procedure before a decision is made. And I feel like Dean has, and others have been prosecuted, I think the others should go through the court. Oh my, that's, that's a difficult question uh, without some thought behind it. Um, no, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't go that far. You know, I've never really understood the seriousness of this crime that was committed. Um, of course, I've, oh, I've been very uh, sympathetic with, with our president. Can you tell us how you feel about pardoning any of the other Watergate defendants? Well, I think they should all be brought to trial and have to take what the courts give them because if I was an individual, I'd get tried and I'd have to stand for the actions that I took and the things that I did, and I think they should have the same thing done to them. Ma'am, can you tell us how you feel about pardoning any of the other Watergate defendants? I don't feel that, in the first place, that President Nixon should have been pardoned, and I don't really feel that any of them should have been. There is one law for the land, and I feel that everybody should be part of it. Last year, Iowa farmers harvested over 270,000 bushel of soybeans. Now, we all know what soybeans are used for, primarily for food, but now there may be a new use for soybeans as a substitute for fossil fuels. So while the oil companies are spending millions of dollars trying to find more fuel underground, perhaps the answer has always been up here, on top of the Iowa topsoil, with soybeans. This is Don Keeler reporting. The association is an organization which will be organized by Iceberg. It's going to consist of 
around 300 uh, uh, shippers from across the state of Iowa. What we're doing is going after people like the grain shippers. Uh, uh, we've located perhaps uh, elevators, which are, are easy people to, uh, to uh, spotlight. Uh, manufacturers such as uh, and lumber yards, local shippers, and we're going to pull these people together to form an, uh, a federation, perhaps you might call it, of, uh, of the shipping associations. How does your organization plan on going about revitalizing Iowa railroads? The association is going to, is planning on uh, being what you might call a pressure group. Uh, it will be through public information and through lobbying. The association will not try to be an adversary to the railroad companies. Uh, we want to uh, work in conjunction with the railroads and not in opposition to them. <laughs> well, we're going to uh, work on our passing game and uh, try to improve it a little bit and uh, uh, better our execution offensively so we don't have any center quarterback exchange fumbles. And uh, we're going to work very hard on tackling and uh, gang tackling and pursuing the football and stopping the veer attack that Washington runs and uh, work very, very hard on our pass defense because they throw the ball 
they threw the ball a lot last year, and they threw it 29 times against uh, Cincinnati. So we know we're going to get a better pass defense test than we got last week against Texas Tech. Material-wise, is Washington a little bit more physical than Texas Tech, perhaps? Well, they're bigger and stronger uh, than than Texas Tech. I don't think they're as quick, but they're big and strong, and uh, they hit you. Are there any real positive points to pick out of the last week's loss at Texas Tech? Not much good sometimes comes out of a loss. Well, I think uh, basically our defense got stronger as the game went on. I think uh, which is good. It's a young defense that could should come on and get better. We're going to have to not make as many t uh, missed tackles, and we're going to have to strengthen our third down and long situation. Offensively, Phil Donowski looked very good uh, uh, running the football in blocking uh, and did a good job. And I think Buddy Hardeman's just a step away from breaking some big plays, and uh, we've got to get the ball more to Mike Strawn. Uh, I guess we're going to have to throw the ball a little more to open up the attack. Okay. They've never had the opportunity well, with the buyers of their products and the processors of their products and the NFO, for the first time, has given the producers of agricultural commodities that opportunity. And with us having given that opportunity and with the correct understanding, I have no fear about what we can show the SEC that they or no other government agency is going to take over the NFO or dominate it or destroy it. Why do you think the city is pursuing this line of action? Um, I'm not quite sure, because we have a program at Cars Pool that has been effective for 25 years, and most of the parents are much in favor of keeping it right where it is. Uh, we have over 1,200 signatures of concerned people. There have been letters to the editor. There have been phone calls, hundreds of phone calls, to the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, their persistence in it uh, evades me. I would like to know why they insist upon doing it their way when it obviously isn't the way the public wants it. larcenies of tractors uh, from the In this unit, we would uh, have four agents permanently assigned to the investigation of rural crimes. These agents would be stationed throughout the state, 
would assist the sheriff and the local officials in the investigation of agricultural related crimes such as larceny of grain, larceny of farm machinery, farm chemicals, uh, and the like. Uh, these agents would also work in the area of crime prevention. And one of the things that uh, we discussed at this resolutions meeting was the uh, titling of farm tractors and the titling of large combines. Uh, also the uh, trip tickets that uh, would have to accompany the transportation of livestock from one farm to another or from the farm to the uh, market. The first step from the nearly 100 Iowa draft debaters starts here at the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Federal Courthouse in Des Moines. Colonel Fleischacher, will your office be directly responsible? Let's say that a draft evader calls in from wherever in Iowa or Canada and wants to turn himself in in effect. What will you do? If a young man should call us and wishes to turn himself in, we will refer him to the United States Attorney. And uh, he in turn will uh, take the case and uh, it will then be handled by the Department of Justice to determine whether or not this young man must perform some type of alternate service uh, in order to be returned to the So the role of the Selective Service in Iowa will come after the man has been processed by the uh, attorney's office? Yes. In other words, we will be responsible for his work assignment and then supervise his uh, performance during that period of assignment. How different will the jobs that will be established or the work established for the draft evaders or deserters be from conscientious objectors, what they've done in the past. The information that we have available to us at this time indicates that the type of work these young men will be doing will be comparable to that performed by conscientious objectors uh, in the past. A Bonnie Donaldson, the U.S. attorney here at the federal courthouse, says he hasn't had any specific calls asking for conditional amnesty. He has had a number of hypothetical calls asking for information. From the U.S. Courthouse in Des Moines, this is Don Keeler reporting.